Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first ever review on this channel. So today I'm gonna be reviewing my Sunto 5 watch. Sunto sent me this watch back in January, so I've had 3 months to gather my thoughts and give you an accurate view on this watch. Firstly, I have to say that Sunto gave me this watch for free, but they never told me to do a full review. So since I have the watch, I might as well do a review and help some of you guys who are thinking about buying this watch. First thing I'll tell you guys is that this watch is not meant for most people. It may look nice and pretty with its um, aluminium bezels and a very nice and sharp screen uh, but switching over from the Garmin 935 revealed what I really missed about the Garmin. This watch took quite a while to get used to but now I'm still using it every single day and I'm also enjoying using it. Let me tell you the quirks and features of this watch starting with the quirks. Unfortunately there are quite a few of them. So firstly you cannot set the data fields through the watch you only can do it through the app. That's something I really missed in my Garmin and I wish Santo also has this feature where you can set your data fields uh, through the watch. But the app is okay because it connects and syncs very well to the watch. My biggest gripe about the data fields is that there are too many similar fields. For example, there's lap distance and there's interval distance. And if you guys know what's the difference, please comment below because I have no idea. But anyway, I love the fact that you can have up to 7 data fields on the screen at any point of time. So that's something the Garmin does not have and the Garmin only goes up to 4 fields a screen. But even though this goes up to 7 data fields, I don't think you want your text to be so small that you have to squint your eyes for running. So that leads me on to my next point, is that the screen is dim in harsh lighting conditions. So the display only shows up at certain angles in bright light. Maybe it's not contrasty enough. And if I'm out running outdoors, it's quite annoying to look at a watch and I'll put it so close to my face. But fortunately, I do most of my workouts in the morning or in the evening, like when the sun is down, or I'm at home so it does not really matter to me. But I feel that the screen is so dim that it will be a deal breaker for some people who often exercise outdoors. So moving on, still on the same subject on display, the data fields do not have labels on them. So only icons, and the icons are very small and if I glance on my watch, if I see the number 5.00, I do not know whether it's a time or that's my pace. And the text definitely had to be bigger and the data can be a little bit smaller, so I wouldn't mind that. Another small quirk about the data fields is that when you pause your activity, the pause screen does not show your data fields. It only shows time of day, duration and distance of your activity. So if you want to see your lap time during the pause screen, you, you can't do that. If I'm doing my intervals with my Garmin, I'll usually press lap and pause my watch at the same time because I don't want to count my recovery time into the total time of the activity. But with the Sunto, if I want to see my last interval time or pace, I need to press the lap without pausing it. So it was an uncomfortable change but now at least I know exactly what my recovery times are. But that's not the case with pool swimming though. If I press lap, the watch will continue running but the recovery time won't be counted into the total time. It will only count if it measures at least one length of the pool. Uh, the watch tracks pool swimming very well. It's quite rare for the watch to under track or over track but sometimes it, a 25 meter sprint can turn out to be a 50 meter sprint but other than that I don't see any very huge uh, accuracy problems in the pool. It has around the same accuracy in the pool as the Garmin so that's that's also fine. And I love the pool clock feature in the swim mode. The red mark shows where you stop and the red arrow is the time you've been resting since. That's something Garmin doesn't have. It's also not a feature that everyone needs. Another huge issue I have with the watch is that it doesn't have multi-spot mode. It has a triathlon mode but there's no aquathlon, duathlon and you can't change the activities within the triathlon mode. So you are only stuck with swim, bike and then run. So it means if you're doing a bike run break and you need to have a quick transition, you have to save the bike activity before you go through the menus and click on the run activity again. That's what I did during my duathlon race last month and it was quite a pain. So next we're gonna talk about the useless optical heart rate sensor under the watch here. So the problem is that for the first 3k or so, that your heart rate readings will be abnormally high. I read some reviews online and this is also a common problem for them. What's worse is that every time you pause the watch, um, the next 3K will also have weird readings again. And you always need to pause the watch if you are waiting at the lights or you need a water break or something. Or maybe you're doing your interval runs. And a solution is to get yourself a Magin Bluetooth heart rate strap and I'll have a link down in the description below. It's one of the best values heart rate monitors uh, for the price. And that will solve that weird 3K heart rate spike issue. And talking about the connectivity of the watch, there's only Bluetooth function and there's no ANT plus. How terrible, my old power meter and cadence sensor is still using ANT, so this watch can't even detect that. Unless you have 
upgraded to a Bluetooth power meter or cadence sensor. The Sunto 5 will not record your power reading. So that's why I'm still using my Garmin Edge 810 for my bike rides uh, because I need a bike computer anyway. So let's talk about the GPS connectivity which is one of the biggest plus points of the watch. I think the GPS is more accurate but it's slower than my Garmin 935. For example, a 1km run on the track, my Garmin will show 1.25km but on this watch, it might be 1.02km So it, this is a lot more accurate than my Garmin, which I love So that's what the watch is great for, distance and accuracy But it's not a really big deal for me though As long as I know that I actually ran 1km on the tracks, then I'm good I found that the initial connection when leaving my house for a run is actually pretty fast But when I'm at the lights, the watch takes significantly longer than my Garmin 935 to pause the activity by itself Again, not a very big deal for me, it's just more time in the activity, right? Also, I like the way that they executed the eco mode of the watch. You get green icons for normal mode and you get orange icons for eco mode. You can tell when it's performance mode simply by looking at the time left. There was one run I started at 16% battery. It showed 2 hours left of battery in performance mode but when I changed to eco mode it showed 9 hours left. So that is pretty impressive. However, it isn't a good idea to use eco mode on the track because the intervals which it reads the GPS is longer so you get wacky readings on a circular track. So another small quirk is that the watch doesn't switch off. You can't power off to save the battery. The only way this switches off is when you drain the power from it. So this brings me on to the next strong point of the watch is that the battery lasts very long. And Sunto claims 40 hours of battery life but since I'm not wearing the watch at home, the watch sleeps to save battery and I get 3-4 to four days between charges so I think the battery is amazing. In conclusion, I feel that the watch is hard to recommend to most people, especially where there are so many other great options out there. The Sunto comes at quite a steep price and with the same amount of money or even less, you can buy the older Garmin 935 and do everything you can do with the Santo. The Garmin is not as accurate as the Santo, but for most athletes, I feel that it's a trade-off that most athletes wouldn't mind. And also when the GPS unit is outside of the watch, you can't lay it flat on the table. All these flaws aren't a deal breaker for me since I got it for free, so I'm still using it every single day and I don't mind all the flaws that it has. So yeah, that's my personal review of the Santo 5. And let me know what you think of the Santo 5 in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching my review and remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys again soon. Bye! So thank you guys for watching my review and remember to hit the...